Sometimes in pandas, what you want to do is assign an incrementing ID to a group of rows. And you would want to do that because the group of rows might be in a specific order that you want to capture, you want to use, and you want to use it as a ranking so you can sort it more easily. So let me give you an example, df.head. So this is the data frame that we just loaded in. This is the head of it. That just means this is the top. Now what we want to do is group by account, campaign, and ad group, because those are just string columns, those are just objects. And by the way, when I say that, df.dtypes, in case you're not familiar, when I say object, it's not like an integer, it's not a float, not a boolean or anything. So we want to group by these three columns, and then we also want to group, capture that ordering by sorting it from CPA, and in my case CPA, a low value is a good thing. Then here we have conversion rate, which a high value is a good thing, and then click-through rate. Higher the click-through rate, the better. So let's do this. We're going to say df.sort values. So this is kind of a tutorial on how to increment a group of rows, how to assign an integer to a group of rows, but it's also a tutorial on how to sort. So account campaign add group. Those are our objects. Now we want to sort in this very specific order by CPA first, then conversion rate, then CTR. So there's a very specific ordering in the way that I'm sorting these. Let me close that. Now here's where a lot of people don't know. They don't know this. Ascending can accept a list. So you can say true, true, true. That'll sort our object data type columns, just A to Z. We don't care how it's really sorted. Might as well sort it alphabetical. Now we get into CPA. We want this sorted where the lowest values are good. So we want true because that'll, that'll sort it from lowest to highest. Then we also want uh, conversion rate because the higher the conversion rate the better so we're gonna say false and then for CTR the higher the click-through rate the better so we'll say false we want it descending now there's gonna be a problem with this let's go ahead and um, see we'll look at the head okay so you can see what it did here and actually let's look at the head we'll look at the top 10 So conversions here, see this row here? These first three rows, there is no CPA. So I said lowest to highest was best, right? But it's also sorting zero as the highest. So that's a problem. So we first wanna fix that. And I think the best way to fix it, this is, this is my preferred way, there are other ways, but I'm just going to say replace. We're going to replace zero dot with np dot nan. So I have numpy imported, and then we're going to do this. So then we're going to do sort. Now let's do head again. And this time, when we look at, look at this row, see how it pushed that zero, this one here? Four seven two one. Four seven two one. It pushed it to the bottom. And that's pretty much what we want, but we don't want it to say NAN. So then we're going to add another replace. Replace NP dot. Well you could do something like fill NA. Fill NA. And we're gonna fill not a number with zero. There we go. So we have sorted this data the way that we want, but now we want to lock it in place. And we want to lock it in place by adding an incrementing integer to these groups. So we want this, it's already sorted, it's like this is the best CPA, this is the really not good, and this didn't have any data, so it's a zero, so it's sorted at the last. 
So we want to lock this in place. How do you do that? You would basically say, first let's assign this. We're going to assign it to df1. And we're not going to look at the head. We're going to make sure that's off. df1. Then we're going to group by account campaign add group. So that's going to be a group. This is what it looks like. It doesn't help you really figure it out. But now we're going to say cumulative count. So it's come count. And that's all there is to it. See, this is ascending is true. We're going to say yes. And then we want to assign this to a column. So df1, we'll say rank equals that. So now if we do df1.head, let's look at the top 15. So rank 0, 1, 2. And then it starts over after a new group begins. So this is a new group, 3959. That gets the number 0. So the rank starts over for each group. So that is how you increment an ID within a specific group with this spe specific row. I don't know how to actually say that. Within a row of groups. No, within a group of rows. That I think that's right. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this, if it helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.